Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video, I want to show you a new feature that I am developing for the node. It pertains to the ability to sort files based on their file name component. The file name component in accordance with the denote file naming scheme. There are two implementations of this feature as of today. One of them is about the standard file manager of Emacs. It is about producing a file listing using DRED or DIRED, however you call it. And this is a fully fledged DRED buffer. It's not a virtual one. It is not anyhow limited in terms of functionality. It is the real thing. That's the one implementation. And the other is about org dynamic blocks. And I will show you this in practice. I also did a video recently, I think last week, where I demonstrated uh, some in development features of org dynamic blocks uh, that the node defines. But let's start with uh, DRED here. Uh, what I want to do is use the command that we provide, the new command mx denote dash sort dash dread and this is the new command and what this command does is it asks us for a regular expression to match files that uh, contain that regular expression. Because of the denote file naming scheme, we don't really need to specify a regular expression here. We can just have something like underscore test. And this means to match any file in the denote directory that includes test as a keyword. So let's do that. And then we have to sort by a component, a component of the denote file name, of course, it's a denote implements a file naming scheme. I have covered this before in previous videos, but also in the manual of denote. It is a comprehensive document. It covers everything. So please take a look. Uh, for now, I will just uh, sort by title, the title component. And finally, it asks me, should we reverse the sort? Yes or no? I will just say no for now. And here I have it. This is a fully fledged DRED buffer and it has produced a listing, a flat list of all the files in my denote directory or the subdirectories of the denote directory. But it's a flat listing here and it is showing me this and it has sorted it in accordance with the uh, file name component that I have specified. Let's uh, see this more concretely. The title is, of course, anchored at the double dash. So we have A and then we have uh, D and then we have E and then ultimately we end with W. So this looks uh, correct to me. Notice the beginning of the file name where it has the directory component and we see the point of the flat listing that I mentioned. We have over here at the top the parent directory, meaning the denote directory. And then we have subdirectories thereof, such as the subdirectory called testing or the subdirectory called denote sort test. And then inside of that, we have another one, uh, denote sort test forward slash subdir, and then the file and so on. The point is that with this command, we can very quickly produce a listing of our files, regardless of where they are, given the criteria we have specified. Let's do this now again. Uh, mx, the same command, mx denote sort dread again. And now let's use a little bit of regular expression notation. We want to search for test followed by any character any number of times and then ending with a forward slash. This is the idea over here. And what this basically means is let's match directory components, so the forward slash, which include test, test or testing or variants thereof. This is the idea. And let's leave it at that. Let's do this. 
And now let's sort by a different component. Let's sort by signature, okay? It doesn't really matter. Let's sort by signature. Reverse sort, yes or no? I will say no. And here we have it. There are two things happening here. The first is that we matched only the files in the subdirectories that we specified. And in this case, we see now that it's always in subdirectories. And the second thing to consider is if you see the signature, which is anchored in the equals signs, we see that we have A1, then A2, and then hello. So this is the idea. And let's now do the same for the sake of completeness, the same uh, search terms. And now let's use uh, keywords uh, for our uh, sort uh, component. Reverse sort, yes or no? Let's do a reverse sort for the sake of uh, the demo. Uh, the reverse sort, and we are now searching for keywords. So testing comes first and archive comes last. So again, this looks correct to me. The point, as always, is that we can filter our files and we can quickly produce a DRED buffer out of this. Let's do it one last time. I will use the same uh, regular expression here, but then I want to match only files that include test as a subdirectory, then have some other characters, and then they have the book keyword. So let's see what will uh, this give us. And then let's sort by title. Uh, reverse sort, let's say no for now. And you see, just like this, with a few search uh, queries here, I am able to produce a fully fledged buffer sorted the way I want. Uh, and I think this is something that users of the note will find very helpful. And I am looking forward to publish this as part of version 2.2, uh, uh, which will be released within the month of December 2023. I don't know yet. We will see. Hopefully soon. But let me show you the other implementation of this sorting mechanism, which is about the org dynamic blocks. So let me go to an uh, org buffer and uh, let's see this in action. mx denote, and now I will use completion, org d block. So let's pop up the completions here. And what we have here is three commands that the node specifies, which allow you to insert an org dynamic block at point. The specifics here are not um, uh, going to be covered in this video. Uh, you can refer to the denoted documentation, which explains what all these uh, org dynamic blocks are doing. Also, I did a video, I think last week, where I talked about this one in particular, uh, but uh, you can, again, check my backlog, check the documentation. Everything is there for you. Uh, let's use the links for now. It doesn't really matter. So I am telling uh, the node at point, produce an org dynamic block that inserts links. Links to files that match the given regular expression we can use the regular expression that we used earlier. And let's use this one, which is with the directory test. So let's do that. And it produces a block like this, which looks very good. And what it does, the specific dynamic block, it links to all the files that match the given search criterion, the given search terms, and it produces a typographic list. Uh, what now I have added with the sort uh, mechanism is this extra parameter, sort by component, as well as reverse sort. So sort by component accepts the same values that the DRED sort accepts. So let's use here signature. Uh, I will do this. And then when I want to update the block, I do control C, control X, control U. And now it has changed the sort. And we can see here, let's follow this link. 
we can see here that this has the signature right here and a1 so a2 is the a2 and then hello is this one so we have the files with the signature just like that uh, this works already let's do the reverse sort here Control c Control x Control u and this has now reversed the sort we see at the bottom the a1 uh, right now uh, why use uh, org dynamic blocks why do we want this facility to begin with of course this is not about sorting anymore but sorting comes in handy a lot we have files that develop we have knowledge bases that grow over time and we want to be able from time to time to consolidate our knowledge and the best way to do this i think is for us to write meta notes meaning that from time to time we want to write a note about what we know on the given subject and while writing meta notes we may want to link to the relevant notes for example i am now writing a meta note about my knowledge on this topic over here and i am linking to the relevant entries in my knowledge base in my denote directory uh, so let's imagine that i wrote this three months ago and in the meantime i have expounded on this theme i have written more notes about it my knowledge has uh, uh, broadened and now i want to come back to this meta note and basically tell emacs hey pull in this new content that i have and this is where the dynamic blocks come in handy Control c Control x Control u and there we have it just like that uh, and I think with the, the sort uh, mechanism, it adds that nice uh, extra there where you can also have them the way that makes sense to you. That's all for today, folks. Uh, as I said, I am looking forward to release this as version 2.2 of uh, Denote. If you are using the development version of Denote, please give this uh, facility a try. Uh, consult the manual. It's thorough. It's comprehensive make sure to read it i do i write it for you i do it for you i know this stuff i don't need to consult the manual but i maintain it and i write everything so that you can also use the note effectively uh, i hope to publish the note version 2.2 uh, within the coming days definitely before the end of the month but uh, preferably much earlier so we will see how it goes that's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care. Goodbye.